We're now going to take a look at real-time transaction processing systems, which are the opposite of batch transaction processing systems in that they are the immediate processing of transactions. So in these systems, basically as data is entered into the system, it is immediately entered into the actual database and updated. There is no delay, there's no accumulation of data, it is all instantaneous. So basically, these can be linked to an online database where there are multiple terminals, such as at Coles, and as items are getting scanned through, the database does get updated. But an online database is not necessary. If there's a standalone computer in your small corner shop, you can still use a real-time system in that scenario. These days as well, it's quite common for the customers to act as participants and, for example, any, entering in data on internet forms, as well as using self-checkout terminals at places like Big W. So the actual nature of point-of-sales terminals in real-time transaction systems is changing. Updating in these systems requires the following hardware characteristics. Hard drives and solid-state drives that can be used for direct access so that data can be immediately attained. Fast processes so that as the transaction is being conducted, it is also updating without any delay. Okay, user-friendly software, especially in these scenarios where the customers are acting as participants because there is minimal to no training. Okay, and RAID storage systems for allowing of the stacking of hard drives. Just to outline how a real-time transaction would occur. Usually there is some sort of event occurring at the terminal, whether it is the participant is the customer or an actual employee. They conduct their transaction, which will on, update the online database or a database that is on the actual terminal. Okay, and then the uh, feedback occurs. Okay, and it's that constant cycle happening for each customer every time. Immediately, the transaction it, data is updated. It doesn't do all the transactions of the day and then update at the end of the day as in a batch system. Everything is updated immediately. Just to outline the advantages and disadvantages of real-time transaction processing, the first advantage is obviously the transaction is completed immediately. You get an instant confirmation that the transaction has occurred and although we've said that a database can be used, it is not necessary. Because this is all happening on the spot, validation also occurs straight away. So if there are any errors, we know it immediately. The disadvantages though, is that it can be difficult to set up. We have to put our terminals in place and if we are gonna network it, network maintenance is a cost. The technology backing it up, as mentioned, is costly for large hard drives, powerful CPUs to run the system and keep it occurring in real time and ensuring that these procedures are set up so that each terminal does the task the same way is important. So I hope this all gives you a good outline of how real-time transaction processing works.